EVs aren't as great as the media makes them out to be. Today, I'm exposing a dark truth about EVs, and that's EVs tires, which will cost you a fortune to change. Ask most people today and they'll probably tell you the same thing. When it comes to maintaining your EV, it isn't much of a hassle. And that's really the promise of an EV. It needs almost no maintenance. When it comes to things that can go wrong with your EV, it's a much lower number compared to your average combustion engine car. That's because there are much less parts and all around less things that can break down and cause major problems. For example, many EV drivers barely wear on their brakes because of regenerative braking. That's why a large percentage of EV drivers report that their brake pads don't even wear out after 200,000 miles and drive. True, you still have to upkeep your EV, but the work you put in is rather minor. At least that's what most people will tell you. But there's a dark secret hiding behind the low maintenance facade of EVs, and it has to do with their tires. EV tires are anything but low maintenance. Some have reported their EV tires needing to be replaced at just 28,000 miles. See, with normal combustion engine cars, you have no choice but to regularly take them into your local shop for oil changes and other maintenances. Usually that's when you get your tires rotated too. But since EVs require far less maintenance, that means your tires may not get rotated as needed. And that's why the drive tires of your EV can wear out faster. It also means that you won't be able to make a warranty claim on them either. That's a common folly that EV drivers find after after the fact. In general, it's recommended you rotate your car's tire every six months or 7,500 miles. And just to be on the safe side, you should visually inspect them once a month. EV's tires are the only parts of the cars that physically connect to the road, so it's important you keep a close eye on them. Did you know that most tire centers offer free lifetime rotation on the tires they install? But why? Well, the answer is simple. They do in hopes that when you come in to get your tires roted, you'll need up another service when you come in like a brake job. Pretty smart plan, except for one small detail. The plan doesn't work too well when it comes to EVs since they don't need as much maintenance. So if you own an EV, you get free tire rotation, which means your tires will last longer than otherwise. You see, today the service industry is really streamlined for oil changes and minor services for the average combustion engine car. But it won't be like that for much longer. Soon it'll start to slowly be streamlined for EVs too, especially with the 2035 combustion engine ban that's coming up. Believe it or not, there are actually people who believe that rotating your tires is a bad idea. Whatever your opinion, one thing's for sure. Tire rotation is required for most tire warranties. So, if you want to keep your warranty valid, you don't have much of a choice when it comes to tire rotation. It's important to know that these warranties often have other conditions that pose a challenge. For example, you have to buy a same set of tires each time. But here's the real question. Why do EV tires wear out faster? Well, for one, EVs are heavier than the equivalent combustion engine car. Electric sedans, for example, are much heavier than traditional sedans, yet the tires are the same size. So, you need tires with a higher weight rating. But the higher your tires weight rating, the faster they'll wear out. Here's another reason. EVs produce instant torque when they accelerate. And believe me, anyone who ever buys an EV and drives it for the first time are going to test hitting 0 to 60. This instantaneous response could easily end up leading to increased wear very quickly. And some EV tires might have tried for high performance acceleration. You don't technically have to buy them. But you do need to get a tire that probably supports the weight of your vehicle. With all these fancy add-ons available, some EV drivers like to take advantage of these additional capabilities and show them off. But the more sporty driving you do, the faster you're going to see the rubber wear out. But it's not just the tires, also the electric motor and the battery pack. Let's talk about EV tire cost. Well, the cost to replace the tires on your EV really all depends on the type of electric vehicle you drive. Some EVs need ultra high performance summer tires, and for others, all they need is to be equipped with grand touring all season rubber. So your EV tires can cost you anywhere from 200 bucks to over 300 each. As a benchmark, a Tesla Model 3 replacement tire can cost about 285 plus 50 bucks for installation. So a set can be about $1,300 before tax. That's actually pretty similar. When it comes to higher end luxury cars or sports combustion engine cars. The only difference is you have to replace your EV tires sooner and more frequently, and that makes the cost sting that much more frequently. So, if you plan on purchasing an EV, don't forget to estimate the total lifetime cost of the tires will be. If you're not careful, let's say for instance you drive like a jackrabbit with quick starts and you don't rotate the tires as needed well, then the frequency you need to replace your EV tires will get very pricey very fast. Another reason why your EV's tires can get so expensive 
Nothing has to do with silence, really. Many EV owners love the silence of their cars when they drive. After all, that's one of the things EVs are known for. But if you want your EV tires to match the silence of your low noise motor, you're gonna have to pay for it, and that isn't cheap. Did you know that your average combustion engine car's maintenance cost is estimated to cost five cents a mile, and tires at another penny a mile? When it comes to EVs, those same costs are lower, except when it comes to tires. At least that's one positive, that you have less regular maintenance costs in the long run, other than tire costs. But don't forget too, you paid way more, two or three times more for the electric version of the sedan, the Tesla, for example. Since their build quality is poor compared to more established traditional cars, yet you're paying luxury price for a poorly built car. Natural question is, can you use non-EV tires on your EV? You might be surprised to learn that the answer is technically yes. And combustion engine cars could also technically function using EV tires too. But neither is recommended. Yes, you could even put non-EV tires on your EV and vice versa, but it could negatively affect the performance and comfort of your driving experience. Just think, EV tires are built to withstand heavier weight. So putting regular tires on your EV will likely end up causing the tires to wear out more quickly. And that defeats the point. Also. EV tires are specifically designed to provide a nice and quiet ride for the EVs. So if you replace them with regular tires, it will be quite a bit noisier. And it also wouldn't provide the same levels of low rolling resistance to optimize your EV's battery life. But while EVs do have their low maintenance advantages, there are definite disadvantages compared to combustion engine cars. For example, the sheer cost of EV repairs. Most EVs aren't cheap to begin with, and their repair is no exception. There have been many reports of Tesla 12 volt batteries failing completely. The only thing that saved consumers were their warranties. Parts for expensive cars are always going to be expensive. It's as simple as that. Just because your EV doesn't need regular maintenance doesn't change the fact that repairs might be needed for whatever reason. Even tires fail out of the blue due to bad road conditions. This can happen at various mileages. Also, your EV's battery will degrade over time. There's honestly not much you can do about that, unless you got a serious problem that crosses into your warranties territory. Second, just think about how much it costs to replace an EV battery. Let's say you need to replace the battery in your Tesla Model S. Up front, we're looking at a battery cost of anywhere between $12,000 to $15,000. Then you add the extra $525 to $2,600 for labor costs for the technicians to actually replace the battery in your car. All in all, we're looking at a huge $13,000 to $17,000 for a full battery replacement. Do you have that kind of jump change? Normally, Tesla is the top of the EV innovation game. So are Tesla EV tires better than those of other EVs? Well, officially, tires installed at the factory on Tesla vehicles last around 30,000 miles. Some owners have even reported them lasting 40,000 miles. But on average, the lifespan of Tesla tires is anywhere from 25 to 30,000 miles. It just depends on road conditions and driving habits. Tesla tires are made with stronger rubber and higher quality materials than your average EV tire. Tesla tires are known for their thicker sidewalls and more durable rubber or synthetic rubber construction. And they're also known for their superior stopping power, anti-slip properties, grip, pressure retention, and puncture resistance. If you live in a snowy state, Tesla tires are a great option. And Tesla's summer tires are said to also handle the heat like no other. Did you know that sometimes the tires used on Tesla cars are just premium versions of standard tires? And you can even find these tires on other vehicles. For example, the Michelin Pilot Sport 235-40-18 tire is the one that's used on the Model 3. So just just make sure to check it out before you make the purchase. They say Tesla now tells you the rear tires are wearing too unevenly compared to the front tires on rear wheel drive vehicles. They will tell you this, so remember to rotate them. Tesla recommends rotating your tires every 6,250 miles. And they also recommend that you rotate your tires if the tread depth difference between them goes over 2 30 seconds of an inch. But Tesla tires do come with its own disadvantages. For instance, Tesla often doesn't have run flat tires. These tires are pretty much a standard feature on other modern sedans, including the competition. And if you live in a rural area with dirt or gravel roads, Tesla tires may not be the ones for you. That's because Tesla has a limited variety of tires to select from when it comes to their all wheel drive models. Today, EVs make up a small percentage of the total number of cars worldwide. But things are changing. Just look at California and that state. EVs make up 10% of car sales and analysts expect that tend to rise globally. This EV shift will also spell out a shift in the future for the ecosystem of service centers and auto parts stores today as we know it. An EV with fewer parts and fewer things wearing out just won't need the service
service industry nearly as much. We'll have to wait and see how long that shift will take before the service industry changes completely. But one thing analysts do agree on is this change is coming sooner than you think. And traditional mechanics, like me, will be a thing of the past. But now, you tell me, how often do you have to get maintenance done on your EV? Do you have any tips on how to prolong EV's tire life? How do you think the auto service industry will change in the future with the rise of EVs? Do you even have an EV? If you're planning on getting an EV, type in a plus sign in the comments below. If you're not an EV fan, type in a minus sign. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for your support.